And thanks so much to Nathan Gunn for joining us, Baritone Nathan Gunn from the Metropolitan Opera. He will be in Mozart's Magic Flute starting on Tuesday. Have you ever thought to yourself, I wish my voice were lower so people would respect me? Oh, I'm sure that you have, because vocal range is an important determinant of status and authority. It was John Wayne who said, talk low and talk slow. And imagine if John Wayne had sounded like this. Okay, men, saddle up. We're no. going in. <laughs> no, you want to be a baritone. Yes, a baritone. That's... Is this how a real man sounds? What? No, it's not. No. <laughs> no, it's not. That's why I became a baritone. Yes. For the power, for the sense of danger. And now you can, too, with baritone hormones. Baritone hormones, yes. Send in today for your free sample to lower your voice, satisfaction guaranteed, or your money cheerfully refunded. Renee Fleming says... You know, if I had another life to live, I'd want to live it as a baritone. Yes. Tanner Placido Domingo says... As I get older, my voice has gotten lower, but not low enough. Not like Nathan Gunn's. Why settle for a squeaky tenor voice when you can be a baritone? Everything sounds better in a lower key. See, it's true. It's true. All these so-called tenor arias take on greater richness and depth of meaning if they're properly sung in a baritone voice. Oh, you can feel it. You can feel it. Even... Yes. Yes, Even arias that people think of as soprano arias are so much more appealing when sung by a baritone. Here's it sung by a soprano. And then listen to this. Baritone hormones, he's got them, you want them, Nathan Dunn. <laughs>